it's still downloading at 100%. Windows 11. Windows 11 sucks. Why am I in the Microsoft store? I'll show you. Bring up Windows Terminal over here. Windows Terminal. If you go and try to change settings here, here's settings. Boom. It tries to open a JSON file. No settings panel for you, loser. But wait, there's more! Go down here. Okay, what's this? And so I go to Microsoft Store and I've got no Wi-Fi because I'm not connected. So I go down here. Now remember, look, each individual icon, hover over an icon and it tells you its status. But see how they're grouped? How the highlight around them is grouping them? So there's a good reason for this because it turns out if I click the Wi-Fi globe here, I get this, this stupid pop-up. This nonsense is what I get instead of what I expect. I click the Wi-Fi globe, but I get this. Okay, so fine. So now you've added a click that I don't need. I just wanted the Wi-Fi menu. So how can I pull up the Wi-Fi stuff and get the Wi-Fi connection going? Let's uh, let's click the Wi-Fi. Oh, oh, that turns off the Wi-Fi. That that doesn't connect my Wi-Fi. That turns it off. Well, now I have to turn it back on. Oh, it says available. You don't hit Wi-Fi to connect to Wi-Fi. You hit it to turn it on and off. You have to hit this arrow to manage Wi-Fi connections. Notice it doesn't use verbiage like connect. It says manage connections. Oh, and look, I have this teeny tiny window. See, back in the day, Windows 8 and up would at least give you a full sidebar of Wi-Fi. But here, here, oh, I can see five of these total in this tiny, tiny window in the bottom right corner. So, Captain of the Crimson Seas, yes, that is a that is a joke. I'll tell I'll tell you about it later. But I'll connect. Okay, well, can't connect to this network. No internet secured. Did but it's connected. But it says no internet. What? So it says it can't connect, then it connects, but says no, it, this thing is buggier than hell. So now I'm gonna do the Microsoft Store and I haven't tried this yet. Supposedly there's a terminal update. For some reason you have to update the terminal program to get it to not drop to that JSON error because they can't get Windows 11 right. By the way, I had to move the start menu to the left using a hidden taskbar option thing. So apps, all right, let, what? No! No! No, 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 go away, no, no, no. Apps. Okay. Uh, no, all I wanna do, is it library? I just wanna update the damn terminal. I don't care about this stuff, I just want to update the terminal. Windows terminal, modified minutes ago. What? Wait a minute, modified minutes ago? So you updated it without asking me? What do you mean modified minutes ago? So I was running the terminal. You saw it still pop the JSON error. It's claiming it was modified minutes ago. Oh look, now the page for terminal is not loading and I have a 960 megabit connection. Ah, oh, that took forever. Okay, so it open or get. So I'm gonna hit get in the hopes that it will force an update. Are you kidding me? It's still coming up to that Windows security thing. I cracked the password on this computer. Oh, now I have an update. After I told it I don't care to give you the pin, now I have an option to update. And now it's updating. What a buggy piece of crap. Is that a progress? Why is it so tiny? I just want you to appreciate this, okay? I'm gonna brighten this up so you can see. This is a 15 inch laptop, okay? This is a 15 inch laptop and that is the progress. Well, look, look how much tinier it is than my finger. That's the progress indicator. So this computer appears to have scaling turned up a bit in some places, but all the buttons on the bottom are tiny. You know, all the, all the stuff here looks like it's scaled, right? But the buttons at the bottom are tiny for some reason which could just be a setting, but then with all this stuff scaled up this big, that's the size of the progress indicator. It's like, you can barely see that. And look, it says it's downloaded seven out of seven, and it still claims it's not done. Look, it's still downloading at 100%. 
This is very annoying. And the thing is, each one of these things individually isn't a big deal. The problem is when you stack all these things up, come on, install already. I know you have a hard drive and you're not super fast, but for the love of God, this shouldn't be taking this long. And if it was modified minutes ago, if it was modified minutes ago, then why is it installing now? Why is it doing an update now if it claimed it was modified minutes ago, which implies it was already updated? Microsoft does not care about the user experience at all. Microsoft is awful. And this, this is just one computer, one set of needs. This is not some complicated thing. Oh, by the way, just, just to make things even more fun. Um, no, you know what, I'll, I'll leave that for another video. The point is that this is such a buggy piece of crap. Look, it's still installing a new Windows terminal. Oh my god. All right, what happens if I run it now? Because I don't want PowerShell to be the default. I want Command Prompt to be the default. Okay, drop it down, settings. Oh look, I got settings. But look, they don't fit. I have to scale the whole terminal window for it all to fit. But at least the settings come up now. But I shouldn't have had to do that. Why did they release this Windows Terminal thing? Why, why did they release this if it can't even open the settings dialog? Oh my god. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, dude. No, it's just... Look, look. I, I can't deal with this crap. Look. Oh, I'm so dark on the camera, too. This is ridiculous. Windows 11 is garbage. It is buggy trash. You should not even bother dealing. Just don't go to Windows 11. If you have it, roll back to Windows 10. Get off Windows 11. Give them a few years to unscrew it before you even bother trying to go to it. Because this is the crap you're going to have to deal with. I really need to get those blue blocker lenses replaced. Alright, I'm going to go get my blue blocker lenses replaced. And you, while I do that, can go take Windows 11 off of your computer. Also, please go watch my video where I discuss the problem with Windows 11 forcing Secure Boot and the TPM. This computer, this computer apparently is running a home edition of, ooh, the focus whacked out, um, is running a home edition of Windows 11, but was BitLocker encrypted, which is weird. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe if I'm really, oh, look, they don't have the system thing under the WinX menu anymore. So, where can I find that information now? Uh, about. And what do we have? We have home. Yep, sure enough. Look at this. Let me get it darker. Look at this nonsense, though. You got Windows 11 Home, but it was BitLocker encrypted. A home edition, a home edition of Windows 11 was BitLocker encrypted, and I don't know who did it, but you're not supposed to be able to do it on home. And they were able to do it on home, and they locked themselves out of their own computer. It's crazy! I hate Windows 11. Go watch my video about Windows 11's sinister nature, and thank you for watching this one. I'll see you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, go to jodybruchon.com to support me financially. You know, one off or subscription. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day, and screw Windows 11.